Conrad's not what you call the brightest candle in the crypt. And there's a reason why I had you do the talking and not Sid. Well played, <laughs> my lady. Always a reason. There is but always a reason. Then let us band together. Oh, that was weird. Mummy. It may still be possible to buy something. Ah, here he is now. Natalie, allow me to introduce Lord Underhill of Randalar's prestigious League of Merchants. Uh, Lord Underhill. At your service. Underhill. I was just Actress telling the good lady Underhill. of our conversation, my <laughs> lord, and how you were lamenting the state of the capital stores. Lubor says that not only are the granaries almost empty, but that war and the blight mean this season's harvest won't be enough to fill them for winter. Indeed, certainly that is the case. The nobles in the capital are buying up the city's stocks <sighs> of barley and wine, driving the prices higher than most commoners can afford. It is only a matter of time before the peasants revolt. <clears throat> it is worse than i thought if what lord underhill says is true i fear we have little hope of supplementing our stores meager though they regrettably are and while i applaud your endeavors to dissuade our more bellicose citizens from seeking vengeance i sense conrad is not wrong in his assessment of the bandits likely return which means that now, more than ever, we will need to secure what little we still have. Food, weapons, herbs, everything. If our humble town is to endure not only this hardship, but those that are certain to follow, we must stand united. All right. If it will help to protect my home, I'll do it. But you needn't have gone through this charade. Thank you, Clive. Your performance was nothing if not workmanlike. She saw right through it. I didn't say it was good, merely that it <laughs> produced the desired effect. Now, my scouts should be returning shortly. Meet me back at the Briar's Kiss, and we shall see what we face. Yes. I'm not convinced our roles in this ruse were entirely necessary. <laughs> I don't know. Conrad seemed quite taken with you. Good news, Sid. Both Conrad and Natalie have somewhat gracefully <laughs> accepted their new roles. With time, they may even learn to. Time oh. no longer appears to be the luxury it was before lunch. I take it your scouts found the bandits. Technically, it would be the bandits who found my scouts. It appears they march for Dalamil as we speak. All of them. You're not serious. They don't just want food, they want the whole damn town. Damn. The whole damn town. I have a favor to ask. Beat them I'm up. told the bandits march in two groups, one from the south and one from the desert. Get them both. In a move, doubtless, intended to stretch our already gossamer-thin defenses. Very well. Jill and I will meet those from the desert. But what of the rest? We got them. The rest, my friend, the city shall fight. Together. Mistakes, I concede, are high. But if this does not unite Dalamil, Nothing will. That is a lot of faith to put into those who had their hands around each other's throats but a moment ago. Then it will be for us to see that their hands are kept occupied. And I do mean us. I thought you might say that. We'll hold them off for as long as we can. And we will do the same. It 
<laughs> no women folk have come to fuck us. I'll take that one. It's all yours. <laughs> so close <laughs> i should have just backed off all right all right we'll get it we'll get it
Not that bad. Don't know how much I'm liking Bahamut. At least not non level though. I don't know how to explode the things. Oh, okay. Execute button a second time. Gotcha. Makes more sense. No women folk have come to work us. I'll take that one. <laughs> Taking the hard losses. Okay. Okay. And the random trash mobs are getting you. Gotta upgrade my equipment or something. 
No women's love will come to a bug. I'll take that one. It's all yours. God damn, the guy was in the way for a while. Okay. <laughs> no women folk have come to welcome us. I'll take that one. Get the parry, but the parry kills you. <laughs> ah, yeah, yeah, okay. All right, all right, all right. Doing good. I don't know, I'm a little tired. Ah, getting back to my stream schedule. All right, all right. <laughs>
Found him, found him, found him, found him. Fist him, fist him, fist him. Got him. So much damage. Damage on damage on damage. Just gotta be good. The townspeople. Could they have held out? Probably. I don't hear any fighting. What do you think? That we should hurry. Did I say? Did a good job? Natalie, I owe you an apology. You did well out there. The inn would have been lost had you not held the line. Without you, there would have been no line to hold. You saved us, Conrad. You saved Alamil. We all saved Alamil. Conrad seems to have had a change of heart. I'd say they both have. I take it from your presence that our visitors from the desert won't be joining us either. Pity. The plan worked, Sid. Granted, it only took an army of bloodthirsty bandits at our gate. Come now, Victor. Why quibble over the details? We are united, and that is all that matters. As for you, Sid, you fight considerably better than you act. I'll take that as a compliment. Quest completes. Down the rabbit hole. Okay. Now I can aid Northreach in the dilemma. Still locked? What? How is it still locked? That's what I want to know. How is it still locked? Doesn't seem fair. There's got to be something. There has to be something. Why are you... Oh, am I not supposed to talk to her? Is there someone else I'm supposed to talk to? You know, I never looked at the map. I could just be. Times are hard. I was actually really dumb. Because I wasn't supposed to talk to her. <laughs>
course, of course. Supposed to go. I was supposed to be at the veil. Sightings of strange creatures, I understand. With the blue eyes. Yes. Like a Kashik, but different. They've taken so many. I've lost count. A Kashik, but different. <sighs> Ultimus thralls. And what of your mistress? Is she here? Oh, no. She went to the garrison to ask what they were planning on doing about all this. Then we'll look for her there. This is the one I'm doing. Yes. All right. All right, all right. And then depending on what happens next stream, I may or may not. We could leave. And a little bit early tonight. Not gonna lie. Feeling, feeling tired. I've been burning the midnight oil on both ends, so to speak, just to get things ready for uh, tabletop Sundays, so. Madame, please. Half the garrison's been slaughtered by those things. We lost the it's captain this very out. morning. We've tried requesting reinforcements, but there's been no word from the capital or the Dominion in days. What more would you have us do? I would have you do your duty. <laughs> those at the Vale look to me Aye. for protection. And protect them I shall, because they are my charges and that is my duty. In case you have forgotten, the people of this town are your charges. But more than that, they are your people, your sisters, your brothers, your lovers. So you have a choice. Lay down your sword and watch as they are slaughtered, or take it up and do what is right. She speaks the truth, you know. This here, it's all we have. It's all that's left. What we have left is our lives. Do you really want us to lose them as well? Not if we don't have to. Look, there's a cask under the captain's bunk. Let's talk about this over a drink, eh? I'm listening. I'll have a word with him. Ah, oh, Clive. I didn't expect help to arrive so quickly. And sought to take matters into my own hands. It was a yes. noble effort, but I thought you might still need some support. I'd like you to consider my needs. <clears throat> what we need to consider is where the creatures came from. The way the survivors speak of them, one would think they appeared out of thin air. <laughs> and perhaps they did. It's hard to know what to believe these days. Hmm. We'll talk to the survivors. Yeah, this one's the most fetch questiest of them all. What is it? That last one was pretty fetch You're a pikeman, yes? What happened? I've got family and more. I heard the flood was spreading, so I went to see if they were all right. <laughs> and a pack of them glowing things found me in the meadow. <clears throat> I ran for my life. I never did get to the village. Leave that to us. But my family. That thing. It's Did you see the creatures that attacked you? Creatures? Uh, yeah, I. They came out of nowhere. They went for Josie first, then me, and then. Then they were just gone. Do you remember where you were? On the road from Oriflan. And we just passed more when... When... Where's my Joseph? It's all right. Just rest now. At least we have an idea of where the thralls might be now. We should head for more. Oh, okay. 
I wasn't sure if he was going to jump the fence. It was all they could do to escape. <sighs> yeah, not going to live stream. I'm actually pretty tired. So I'll probably wreck whatever's over here at the windmill and then we'll call it an early night. Saturday we'll pick things back up. Possibly beat the game. If not, possibly do a stream Sunday. God, I hear clickety clacks. Clackety clicks. Oh, thank God that was just a rock. Yes, Brian. Here. Who's next? Who's next?
<laughs> I didn't know. I thought I was gonna die for a second. Gotta know in the beast. Gotta know in the beast. Do you think there are more? There are always more. But I'd say we've done what we can for the time being. Then we should let Isabel know. Teleport? Talk instantly? Yes. Alright. Not too bad. You have the town's thanks. Don't thank us yet. There will be more. Many more. And you'll need to be ready for them. Oh, we shall. Isn't that right, Captain? Yes, Malavi. The garrison will be ready. Philippe here has convinced most of the men to remain at their posts. For now, at least. <laughs> Hearing that the Dane would look kindly on any man who committed himself to the task certainly didn't hurt. <laughs> it's not the most selfless of motives, I'll admit. But whatever it takes, eh? But now me, I never needed to convince him. I became a soldier to protect the people I love. And the people I love include the ones standing before me. <laughs> oh. Handsome and chivalrous. Now, if you don't mind, I have sentries to post. Milady. Lest you wonder, I'm not foolish enough to believe that this has solved all of my problems. But it has solved one, and that's one fewer than I had this morning. Thank you again, Clyde. Why we fight. Our friends seem to have things under control. For now, at least. Let's go and put Otto's mind at rest. The hideaway. <clears throat> they said they'd give us new clothes. Did you see that? No reason. Was wondering when you turn up. Hellos from all our friends thanking you for your timely intervention. How is it you always manage to arrive at just the right moment? Luck, mm. I suppose. Yep. Any word sure on luck. the rest of the realm? Hmm, let's see. Storm's still crying out for mother crystals. The nations are still in chaos. And the skies are still the color of a kick in the kidneys two days on. So, Oof. right. Clive, we knew this was going to happen. Well, not the bleeding skies part, but you take my point. Now's not the time to second guess yourself. Now's the time to visit the infirmary. Taya says your brother's awake. Thank you, Otto. Sure. Forgot he was here. So it was not Sylvester. But Olivier, who served as Ultima's puppet. And when Dion learned of this, he sought to slay the fiend. <sighs> Only for his father to take the spear that would have freed him. Enough to drive a man to madness. Small wonder he hasn't stirred. I would be afraid to wake. Had I but reached out to him sooner, warned him of the threat Ultima posed. But now, both an empire and her prince lie broken. Joshua, what do you know of Ultima? Very little. 
afraid. Despite my best efforts. Eighteen years ago, as I lay buried beneath the rubble of Phoenix Gate, it was not death who came for me, but another. And it was while in my rescuer's care I first heard of Ultima. I've been chasing his shadow ever since. Ultima is driven by some deep, dark purpose, and for whatever reason, it would seem you are crucial to his designs. He will stop at nothing to have you, even if that means toppling an empire. But why me? What possible use could I be to such a creature? That is one of many answers that have eluded me. Yet, I am certain of this. It is not mere chance. You were chosen for a reason. All dominants carry within them the might of an icon. Nigh limitless power that is at once acutely limited. I wield fire, and only fire. And I only ice. Eight wardens for eight elements. But you... Clive. You are different. You are special. Your abilities begin with the flames of Ifrit. But they do not end there. The fact Ifrit can even exist goes against everything we thought we knew of dominance. Perhaps Ultima has been waiting for one such as you, whose potential is truly limitless. I've encountered that thing several times now. If it or he, as you say, needs me, why hasn't he claimed me as he did the boy? Were I to hazard a guess, I'd say the two of you are somehow incompatible. His mind not properly attuned to your body. His mind? Mind, awareness, spirit, call it what you wish. But I believe Ultima to be an embodiment of the concept. This is why I struggle. Fail to contain him here inside. <laughs> hey, hey Ark Boba Fett. Sorry. Inside you. With every setting sun, I feel my strength wane. And though the Phoenix's flames mend the prison I have made for Ultima, they do so at a cost. We must find the means to bring an end to him before I meet my own. What were you thinking? It was that or let him take Clive. And I've always had a soft spot for my brother. But that doesn't mean you should sacrifice yourself to save me. <coughs> Joshua. <coughs> Clive, it's Gav. <coughs> There's an army of Akashic at the gates of Canva. <coughs> What's the short of it? Uh, talk. Tire told you. The capital of the free cities is under siege by an army of monstrosities. The city guard are doing their best to stem the tide, but numbers ain't on their side. What of Lord Byron and Mid? Were they able to escape? No. But they're all right for now. They're hiding with Gav at midship. We have to get them out of there. And we shall. Otto, prepare a stolas. Tell Gav to stay exactly yeah. where he is. Understood. Vivian, what's the swiftest route to the free cities? <laughs> that sounds like a question for the map. Look here. Let's consult the map. This road, through Tabor, should provide the least trouble. Good. Double take. What a coincidence. Tabor is exactly where I'm bound. Joshua, bed is where you should be bound. You don't think I told him the exact same thing? Were Taya not such a talented healer, I would surely have been inclined to agree. But thanks to her ministrations, I feel I may safely rejoin my attendant, who was to wait for me in Tabor if we became separated. All right, 
we travel together. Clive. If he stays close to me, he'll be fine. Thank you, brother. <laughs> brother. Ooh, bolt fire. Flame on flames. Ozeit echoes. Oh, <laughs> everything is locked. Okay. Is this like a point of no return? All right. Let's find out. Central Delmachia. Oh. That was a good boy. Alright. Should I be able to help? Maybe? Oak and Dagger. It's like a dream. The four of us out walking like we used to. Enjoying this, are you? Gav and the others could be in danger as we speak. You're right. I'm sorry. Yote is a fine scout. If Candle was attacked, she will already have begun gathering information. Tabor isn't far. We should pick up the pace. If only I had a chocobo. If only I had a chocobo. We can use the ruins to cross the ravine. Assuming they will allow it, the Echoes have a will of their own. That's new. Actually, no, I don't remember that. Kind of kill, but also kind of not. <laughs> Three desert roses. I gotta craft stuff one day. Oh my god. That guy has fun. I kind of wish I had done that. Tell us oh well. About Yote, Joshua. She's strong-willed, loyal, and deadly with a blade. Much like Clive, but with better manners. It's a flying entrance. Don't do too well in an action.
Ooh, there's actually a trap there. You know what? Oh. Can't activate them at break. Gotta be in battle. Alright. Another ether flood. They're everywhere now. We can't go around it. Then we'll just have to be careful. Look, I see one item and I want it. So it's three pinches. I can't ever be like three rabbits out of a hat. <laughs> We're nearly there. Have you been to Tabor before? There are a few places I haven't. I was like, damn, that's a chunky bird. <laughs> Where now, Joshua? I don't think anyone he's allowed to let anyone write him. She awaits us within. Just sitting there being his best thickums life. <laughs> My Lord Marquess, it is an honor. I am Yote, Knight of the Undying, charged with the protection of His Grace Joshua Rosfield, Keeper of the Flame of the Phoenix. Uh, of course, it all makes sense now. You are worthy. Would Stand. you care to elaborate? Keeper. The Undying are loyal servants to the Ducal Throne. Or more specifically, to its heir. They have served our family for generations, albeit from the shadows. Since their inception, they have been tasked with the preservation and enactment of the rites of ancestral communion. After the events at Phoenix Gate, it was the Undying who delivered me to safety. And since the day I left Rosaria, Yote has been my constant companion and protector. Without her sword, I would not have survived my journey across the realm. Rise, Lady Yote. <laughs> Wayne's world. Stand up, stand up, you're worthy. You saved my brother. I owe you a debt I can never repay. I but did my duty. Come now, tell us what you've discovered. Your Grace. <clears throat> it is as you feared. Oh no. The vessel we spied off the coast of the Crystalline Dominion on the night of her fall. Was indeed. It was the Ein Herr Beyond any doubt. The Black Galleon. Joshua. The Ein Herr is the Royalist flagship. <laughs> what business would they have in the Dominion? Uh, upon learning of Walud's involvement in recent events at Drake's Fang, I sensed the malign influence of Ultima, and bid Yote and the Undying look into the matter. We have reason to believe that the Black Galleon weighed anchor shortly after the fighting began, and set a course due south. For Canva? Then it is Waluda Knights who besiege the cities. What is left of them, yes. And the Black Galleon sails at but one man's behest. Barnabas. Barnabas Tharm. <laughs> but are we truly safe here in the Agora? The city guard have been paid, if that's what you're implying. All the more reason for them to run. Well, you are free to leave. Lord Minister. Markets abandoned, warehouses aflame, 
Blackened house choking every port in the capital. Canva is ruined. The realm teeters on the brink of chaos, and all you can think about is commerce. Forgive us. We were not aware Dalmechia now subsisted on charity. How dare you? Ooh, someone got shanked. Something's going on. Distinguished members of the council. You must forgive his majesty this intrusion. What did you... What is the meaning of this? A trifle crowded. But I fear it will have to serve, my liege. It's our neck. Very well. My colleagues, do you not see? Come on. The king... He has come to save us from the Akashi. Like, what? He never said anything about that. He is a gift from the heavens, divine intervention. <laughs> ah, uh, no, salvation. Maybe he's not going to say that. Of course, if it is compensation he requires, we would be most willing to negotiate a fair price for services rendered. Fools. Your ignorance unbecomes you. Your Majesty. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I would swear that the fiends washing the cobbles of Canva with the blood of her citizens wear the colors of Walud. <laughs> Walud. I ah, know. So you do not deny it. Guards, better them and see our guests to the dungeons. Ooh. Enough. Gonna power up. Oh. Damn. Pathetic creatures. That you should imagine yourselves worthy of salvation. The girl is still here, somewhere in the city. Her consciousness fair dripping her late father's hubris <clears throat> a consciousness to which Muthos is inextricably bound and inexorably drawn see that he is made welcome yes your majesty come Muthos surely the prince's light cannot have sated you Like one of those, they're all, they're all just taking a nap at the same time. <laughs> so then, group nap. Gotta love them. How long has Walud been under Ultima's control? How long, indeed? Based on what we know of Barnabas' actions, I would guess some few years, mayhap more. But to what end? What does Ultima want? The tapestry. Show them. Secret? The secret? I have a flame. Oh, it's the same one, just like in the gate. Drake's breath, and now here. What is it? It is old, ancient, even. Naught remains of the faith it represents, save what can be gleaned from the image itself. None could tell me what the one in the apodotry meant, even the undying. But I believe it may be the key to discerning Ultima's purpose. That figure in the center, the one beneath whom the icons congregate, that I believe to be Ultima. He is a god, or at least godlike. His very existence beyond our ken. The icons, and by extension their dominance, god are meant to be his subjects. And while some, like Barnabas, have accepted this role, 
Others have rejected him, like you, Clive, which is rather inconvenient, as it appears he needs you most of all. And gods don't like to be disobeyed. <laughs> no, I don't suppose they do. Clive, may I tell Yote of the lake? Like, yeah, sure. By all means. Go right ahead. Yote, I will be accompanying my brother to the free cities. <laughs> Whilst we are afield, I would have you watch over those Clive has made his wards. Omia lost Delan to Isag Ilith. Though well concealed, the hideaway lacks trained fighters to defend its occupants should they be discovered. But it is my duty to... As it has ever been my brother's duty, remember. If... if that is your wish, your grace. But please be safe. If aught were to befall you, I... You have my word. He's like, shh, watch a great stream. Working at the same time. <laughs> oh, I feel you. Oh. Uh, did she start the new job yet? Well, my lord, my lady. We are in your debt, Yote. <laughs> You finished out there last week. 13th, I do. Hell yeah. So next. Next week. Nice. Gonna be great. Let's find our friends. Hmm. Kind of looks like a deer. It's plain she cares for you very deeply. And I her. Which is why I had to let her go. Yep. We had a white fanger. Be gone. Oh, where is she? Nope, wait. Cyril, how fair is the search? Well, your grace, my report shall be with you ere long. Ah, yes. Yote is otherwise engaged at my behest. And the duty of wardenship? Fulfilled. For as you see, I've been reunited with my first shield. I am Cyril. Knight of the Undying and bearer of the Burning Quill. Charged with chronicling the mortal deeds of His Grace, Joshua Rosfield, Keeper Ooh. of the Flame of the Phoenix and rightful Archduke of Rosaria. It's basically the story. I entrusted talk. Cyril here with overseeing the investigation into Ultima's origins. Findings from his brothers and sisters afield are delivered here to be collated and catalogued. Just how many Undying are there? Not nearly <laughs> A enough, lot. my lady. <laughs> Yet we are glad to give our all Not in service enough. to the Phoenix. Such is and has ever been our creed. I see. You have your associates, I have mine. But you may now think of them as ours. That won't be uh, a problem. Our of course, we're in this together now. Our the Phoenix problem. is our sun, and we but the shadows that quicken in his radiance. It is from the darkness that we serve, both him and now you. Who, wait, me? Pray accept this token. Phoenix down. Whoa. For as long as you bear it, members of our order will reveal themselves unto you. If there is nothing further. No. You are dismissed. Your grace. The camp there. We'll talk about this later. 
Cyril seemed very, um... You certainly keep strange bedfellows, Joshua. Thank you for the free city. Okay, we'll see what happens. I think this is pretty fetch questy, and if so... Might not be the best. Definitely not the most hype thing to do in the game. You're in the end game. You do fetch quests missions. Oh, you know what? Forgot a ladder. Yep. Just keep walking. It's like, no, not the birds. <laughs> Ooh, uh, orcs, orcs, orcish water. Smoke. Is the city fallen? Yes. Unfortunately, it has. <laughs> Nothing we could have done. Oof. City looks like it's in better days. Still holding their own, then. Do we have any idea where Gav and the others might be? There's a warehouse near the docks where we agreed to meet if there was any trouble. We should hurry. Ooh, that, okay. All right, that was a good. Hmm. Let's see. Uh, I don't know if I'm able to do this one. Going. I don't think I'm gonna save it. This will pick up Saturday. Enter the free cities. I don't think this is going to be a fight with Odin, but it'll be one step closer to Odin. And then after Odin, we fight Ultima. One of the 
finish the game. <laughs> but, um, uh, uh, let's see. Excuse me. But, uh, I think we'll, we'll end here just because this one too, as my controller drifts. God, I hate my, my controller drifts now. Action games. <laughs> Gotta wiggle them sticks. But, um, yeah, I think we got the big fetch quest out of the way, which wasn't honestly too bad. It was uh, slay some monsters, practice using my Bahamut skill skill tree. Uh, I'm still not super sold on using those abilities, but I think I'm getting to the combo. They're a really good combo. I don't want to say extender extensions. There's really good damage peppered in. It's like ah, let me salt salt. Blah, blah, blah. Learn to speak. Let me salt shake, uh, pepper shake, some some damage over your salad for you. <laughs> uh, but um, maybe maybe if I invest in the skill tree, bump things up, reduce some times, be a lot more, a lot more effective. But I like it. Um, but yeah, well, we're gonna end here. Uh, um, a little bit. No, actually, no, we're right on time. We almost had like a three-hour stream. But um, yeah, tonight's been pretty fun. Like I said, not the most hypest thing. Getting rid of all the fetch quests that they're padding the ending with. I have like two big bosses for sure that I know of. I don't know if that happens after Odin and Ultima. Probably Ultima pissed off. Ultima fused with everybody or something. Something crazy like that. But um, I'll probably find out Saturday. Might beat the game. We will see. If, if I'm super, super, super duper close. Like... Oh, if you hadn't stopped streaming, you streamed like another five hours, you would have beat the game. I'm like, oh, <laughs> this whole, I'm that close. Maybe I'll do another stream Saturday and Sunday, but we'll see. I think I got Saturday morning. We'll pick things back up. We'll go free the cities of Kanvir. Maybe fight Odin. Maybe get some new abilities. And then we'll be probably doing something to fight Ultima, although I think he'll like appear and be like, ha, ah, fuse with me. And I'll be like, no. <laughs> and then he'll be like, oh, well then you can't fuse with anyone. And then he'll want to destroy me. <laughs> but um, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll catch up. We'll find out what happens Saturday. Uh, we'll expect a full, full meaty stream Saturday. Um, but yeah, uh, before we uh, close things up, wrap things up, uh, huge shout outs again. Thank you for stopping by Ark Boba Fett. Hopefully, are your hours going to be the same next week when you start your new job? Or are they going to be similar to your, your regular hours? Nope. Okay, not going to be the same. Completely different. Well, maybe I might see you more. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Uh, uh, hopefully. 3 p.m. and 1. one oh, man. Damn. Okay. That kind of sounds somewhat earlier than what you normally would do i think so i'll probably get off of work when i stream at least during the week the weekend unless you got weekends off <laughs> yeah 3 p.m to 1 a.m 10 p.m to 6 a.m okay yeah it's right now <laughs> okay gotcha well then yeah you'll definitely uh i'll definitely still see you uh, when I do my, my weekday stream. So that'll, that's good. Uh, either way, I'm just glad you're getting a new job with benefits and some more, more money. <laughs> everyone, everyone can use a little more benefits and more money. And I'm happy that that person is you. <laughs> but, um, yeah. Uh, we'll do a Saturday stream. Possibly a Saturday night stream. Um, I think I'm... I might be getting a little sick. I was hanging out with some friends over the weekend uh, since it was Labor Day weekend. Um, one friend was a little sick. He had a cough. We don't. I don't know. Could it be bronchitis. Could just be the cold or something. Oh God! I hope it's not the cold. Please just don't. Let me get like. If I have to get sick, let me just get like barely sick. <laughs> but um, I don't know. Feeling kind of mostly okay it was like a two percent 
two percent chance i'm like oh no this could i could keep, i could get sick by the weekend so we'll see what happens but but um yeah uh depending how things go possibly a saturday morning and a saturday night stream and then beat final fantasy i know we'll start doing some multiplayer stuff and maybe i'll start cyberpunk who knows we'll we'll figure it out got some things planned for uh, anniversary month um otherwise yeah like i said thank you Ark Boba Fett, for hanging out with me uh, uh huge shout outs of course to dim kara who stopped by to say hello before he before he went to bed i'm super proud that everyone is like stopping by the stream and like all right came to say hi gotta, gotta, gotta go to sleep now <laughs> i'm like yes please get sleep rest is important and frollo demonoid fezzer um everyone else who was who was lurking um Mm. Should, should should be a lot more uh, available on the weekend. We'll see. It all depends on if I come if I play the uh, disturbed. If I come down with the sickness. <laughs> but hopefully, I just I'm normal. I, I, I kind of feel it in my throat like I'm getting a cough or something. Oh god. Hopefully, I just nothing. But. I'm erring on the side of caution, just trying to get some rest, stay healthy, you know, drinking lots of uh, orange juice, getting my vitamin C and whatnot, but I'll keep everyone posted, but um, yeah, on that note, uh, like I said, or like I usually say, everyone's viewership and support never goes unnoticed or taking it for granted, so thank you again for hanging out with me. Pretty mellow stream, not too bad. This might be the last of the fetch quests I gotta do before the super epic battles, which there I know there are at least two. <laughs> so it might it might just be all action next stream on Saturday, but um, we'll see what happens. Uh, uh, I think I'm like 80. I gotta be like 80 percent of the way done with the game by now. So we'll see. Possibly beating it Saturday, but um, yeah. Otherwise, um, other than that. It's time for what my number one mod, who used to have a dad bot, Dimkira, calls the Truman Show outro. So to everyone hanging out with me, thank you again for stopping by to say hi. We had some good conversations about uh, SAG AFTRA, Japanese animation, um, you know, just workers trying to get better conditions, pay, benefits, all of that stuff that, like, that should be standard no matter where you work. So, you know, I'm pushing for everyone. You know, if you don't have a job or you don't get paid enough, you don't have benefits to take care of yourself. Uh, um, and, you know, you don't got a good work to leisure balance, you know, strive. You're worth a lot. <laughs> Companies know and don't let yourself be taken advantage of, you know. Uh, uh, you got to fight where you're right. Uh, uh, to party. <laughs> Beast boy. Beast boys, beastie boys. <laughs> but um, yeah, you know, just hope everyone's taking care of themselves, doing good. You know, look up for one another, all of that. But um, yeah, uh, I will see everyone Saturday morning. Um, ooh, I, yeah, I thought I had like I had a thought and then I lost it. I hate when that happens. <laughs> But um, yeah, so catch you guys Saturday morning. We'll we'll see uh, how far we can get. Hopefully, knock on wood, we we beat the game and we can start some some new stuff. But uh, yeah, uh, I just want to say again, no matter where you guys are watching from, hope everyone has a good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. I'm Eagle, the Visual Culturist, signing out. Gonna get some rest, take care of my health. I'll catch everyone Saturday morning, bright and early. <laughs> Uh, and we'll try to beat the game. So, uh, till then, take care, Ark Boba Fett. Stream. Till next time.